Okay. I went to a, an affair last night. Well, I guess early, but it's, it's like early morning right now. Hey, look at the extra matches. My glass case matches the thing. Because the map there, the wood, the gun, and the glasses. See that matches thing? Hey, my grandmother would be proud of more match there. And even the fair was Look at this. The book. The book that I bought at the fair. It matches too. See that? From the pyramid, from, from the projects to the pyramids. This guy, uh, Malik Ahmed. Now Malik, he was actually, uh, the projects he talked about is the, um, uh, the projects over from us that, uh, that we were past their projects. Then he was in the other projects over there, over the, the, the thing there. Anyway, that's the projects he's talking about. Um, why should I mention their names? Yeah. Uh, there, the Lincoln Projects, the Abraham Lincoln Housing Projects. That's the projects he's talking about. Let me drink some water. I always drink water in the middle of the night. Mm. Mm, look at that, see? Yeah, I got a signature here, but that's not his signature. This is the signature of the editor, right there. His signature, I do this with a lot of authors like that. His signature is in the back. Like that, see, it's in the back of the book. I do that a lot, you know. Sometimes if the, if the wives are there, some wife, wife, wife are there, but sometimes they give the wife a lot of credit. I have the wife sign the book too. I'm just that way, but this uh, initiative he started in um, St. Louis has to do with uh, it's a cultural, educational, and uh, uh, business centered uh, business initiative. Anyway, this the book is basically in search of a better life, um, and he has this. Uh, well, let me see. Here. This is the ticket, you know, and it's the um, it was the Unity Ball they give it every year. This is the 33rd Unity Ball. It was at the Big Time Hotel down here. Uh, it's, uh, the, the, the theme was Elevation. <laughs> and it's for the uh, uh, making a better life uh, for children. It's the, the life center there. They have a uh, tribute to the founder. So anyway. So I, you know, I, I didn't want to take a lot of books here, but, uh, well... I just had to. Oh, Eugene Redman wrote the, uh, what's the thing? I was at Eugene Redman's table. So he wrote the, uh, anyway, the name is, is uh, uh, Better Family Life um, is the name of this initiative. Okay, it's a really good initiative, I think. But I, I bring all this up to bring because it's, it's mainly a middle class peoples, you know, upper middle class, middle class black peoples, you know. Uh, oh, this, this outfit I have on this is from my, uh, this is from my, my brother, my attorney brother in New York, you know, I borrowed it, you know, because, well, my African Africans are, you know, in, this, in, this, in Africa, right? And because I just had this, I had to get a hat, you know, I had to get a, had to get a crown. So I went to the store, uh, the store was called uh, Afro something, Afro World. And they had, they actually had this big tool, this same color and everything like that, but it was attached to another garment, so I couldn't do that, so I just got a, a crown like this. But it all worked out well. Um, now, but, but but it was interesting being with these uh, uh, upper middle class folks, whatever have you, because I had just heard earlier uh, this uh, uh, one. You know, as you as as you few listen to us, while you know I I talk a lot about Max Kaiser, right? I, I listen to the Kaiser report and listened to since 2014, 13, something like that. And he had an interesting one. I'll try the, the numbers. I think is uh, 1466. Yeah, 1466 is the episode. Very interesting. Because what he talks about is, uh, you know, what, well, see, the way this program is structured, the first 15 minutes is him and his wife, Stacey Herbert, talking, headlines, stuff like that. Then the next the next half, he talks to a guest. And both sections are interesting this time, you know. So it's like a half hour. You just take a half hour of your day. And just go ahead and stop listening. Then you go, turn it on right now. Um, but uh, he notes that uh, most revolutions were, were started or whatever, somehow involved the middle class to upper middle class. Think about that. And when I think about that, I say, heck, that's right. And those are the kind of people that were at this at this thing. Now, 
What happens is uh, when they finally get whiffed of what's really going on, that's when they go off. And when they go off, that's what happens. You know, you get revolution. That's why when you have these revolutions, who do they lock up first? The professors and, and the journalists, you know, the, the basically the middle class and the upper middle class. That's what they, you know, the poets, the whatever. That's, that's what they get first. Um, and then you had the, uh, the the second half with the, with the woman talking. How to, I'll get that in a second. So so and I really thought about that. I said, "Ooh, so here I am. I'm with the potential revolutionaries. What's stop them? Why can't they do revolution right now? Because they don't realize right now. But then when they start realizing, but especially what's happening now with, with you know with the way with the way we roll, you know, especially with uh, the this, 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 this congressional black caucus ain't did nothing in many 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 years. Those people being called out. A lot of people being called out. So this is going to be quite. This we're living in very 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 interesting times. If you haven't guessed already." Uh, you know, ADOS on the case and a bunch of other people on the case. This is gonna, this is not gonna turn out well for those people who who keep on trying to prey on people. Um, but the second half, guess it, it, to me, is even more uh, interesting uh, because she talks about, um, uh, you know, how the bankers get away with it. You know, something happens, they make a new law or whatever it is. And um, but what interests me most is that she talked about something that I thought was fascinating. Um, and that is that, like, let's go back. I, I mentioned An Andrew Yang in a previous thing. But, you know, he has this thing he wants to give uh, $1,000 to folks. And I say, well, you can give $1,000, but before you do that, it has some debt relief. And I say, you can experiment, have debt relief, relief on the uh, ADOS. That would be the people we start first, right? But but the, but the question really is, where are you going to get this $1,000 from? And he said, well, you know, tax, you get this complicated scheme. Well, the $1,000 is very easy. You know, just like you bailed out the banks before, $1,000 come from, pfft, that's right. You, it comes from bailing out. That's the bail that you've got to use. <laughs> just like you use for the bank and you keep on doing it. With this, They have this whole backdoor thing they do with the bank right now. It's called repo and all that stuff. This is all explained on, on Max's thing. So I'll let you listen to all that stuff. Like I said, you should be listening to me right now. You should be looking over there to, to Max's thing. I'll list it down in the, in the show notes. Did I say show notes? Did I say that there? And whatever it is. So, Anyway, I just want to come to you up real quick because I'm packing. Uh, I got, I'm going to be on the train in a few hours. Train to New York, New York. I got to go to Chicago first. I think I'm going to stop. I'm going to entertain myself because uh, when I get when I get to New York, then I go to Virginia. And since my brother's in town, I want to. Well, we found my brother after 30 years. We don't get. Don't worry about that stuff. But I want to. We want to go. I want to go to movies with him together because we used to go to movies when we were young. You know, and past the price, we go to the Bronx movie theater like that, right, right across from you know Lincoln. Well, not across the the Lincoln Project was over the other side of the river. You know, anyway. So, uh, so I want to see. I'm gonna go see. Uh, we do a guy movie. We go see that that Chadwick Boseman thing, Twenty One Bridges or something like that. But, but I think when I go through uh, Chicago, I see what's playing movies. It'll probably be uh, Ford versus Ferrari because. Phew, I'm a guy. I do guy things, you know? That's the way it is, you know? I mean, aside from... I have to tell you all this. Aside from being a revolutionary, I'm not really a revolutionary. I'm, a, I'm an evolutionary that uses revolutionary tactics. Now, I want you also to be an evol evolve your mind because you're gonna, we're going to be in times of revolution, so you're going to have to do some revolutionary tactics. So you have to attach yourself to somebody. You can't just sit down... <sighs> And if you're the, the lower class, don't worry, you're in it already. It's, we we got to excite and make sure these these upper middle class people that think they're comfortable, you know, that they, they nothing happen. And as they see the, the the real rich, rich people, they keep on outstripping them. Like you, you say, well, I, I got 30% more or whatever. Nah, but the 30% more to a billionaire is like a lot. You're 30% as, as uh, Stacey points out. It's not. It's a lot. You know, so anyway, when the, the jig is up is what I'm trying to say. The jig is up, and that's a, according to... Uh, Stacy and, and and a bunch of other people, especially me, T from the Patterson saying the trains to bed, letting you know what I only suspect from a reality of the A D O S that would be the American, North American descendants of chattel slavery.